On Friday, December the 11th, 2015, a 25 year old woman attended a sports therapy massage appointment at a clinic located at 5203 Avenue Southwest. And during the massage, she was sexually assaulted by the male therapist. Following the sexual assault, the woman attended a local police station to report. On Monday, December the 14th, 2015, a man was arrested and has now been charged in connection with the offense. Brad McClellan, a registered massage therapist in Calgary, has been charged with sexual assault. His next court appearance is scheduled for Friday, February 12th, 2016. McClellan was contracted by and rented a space at Centennial Wellness Clinic at the time of the alleged assault. The clinic has been very cooperative with CPS throughout the investigation. Calgary Police has information that McClellan may have also worked for or been contracted by Hockey Canada, uh, the Vancouver 2010 Paralympic Games, and also may have treated skeleton and bobsleigh athletes. The Calgary Police Service encourages all victims of sexual assault or any crime to report to the police. That's it. Can you give us any, any specifics on the, the sexual assault itself? Like, what, what exactly did the complaint? Well, a- every sexual assault uh, is, is very serious, and uh, certainly uh, with sex crimes, we take all precautions necessary in conducting the best investigation. Uh, in this particular incident, the sexual assault went beyond uh, what, may, what might be considered uh, groping. Um, that's what I can say about it. Um, is there any, because the accused seems to have a rather uh, kind of well-known background, as you mentioned, Hockey Canada, national athletes, is there any concern that uh, because of this person's background that uh, that uh, there could be other victims who might be worried about coming forward because of someone perhaps in such a prominent uh, position for his occupation? In response to that, I can say that uh, Mr. McClellan has been charged uh, with one count of sexual assault. Um, that right now we're we're doing this information and providing this information to the public to advise them and the police as always like we say we encourage all victims to come forward and make a complaint so we can do the right thing and conduct the investigation. How long has he been pursuing his profession? Uh, I'm I'm not aware exactly how long he's been practicing as a massage therapist. Do you know how long he's been running space from that not to my knowledge, no. I don't have any information about that. Any other questions? So just oh, to be no. clear, you guys don't suspect that or there's no reason for you to believe that other victims might come forward at this point? It's just I, the one victim as to your knowledge. Right now, like, like I said previously, he's been charged with the one count. Uh, we do want to provide information to the public and advise you um, in the interest of public safety that this has taken place and of course encourage anybody to come forward and report any crime. Is that normal to go into so much background into an accused? It certainly can be when you're dealing with uh, you know public safety and in the interest of public safety we will take steps of course uh, to ensure that there isn't any risk of harm to the public. And maybe just one last question, perhaps, because sometimes people are scared to come forward, but maybe they think they're the only one. So this this, this makes people maybe understand that maybe they weren't the only one. Is that correct? That's, that, that's had problems, perhaps. Well, we want to ensure that if an offense has taken place and there are any victims of any type of, of crime, that they know that they can come forward and and make a complaint, and we will conduct a proper investigation. There was, there is only one charge of uh, sexual assault, and there has been no other previous charges. Do you have to maybe just speak to the fact that since this person was in such, you know, uh, I guess a high level in his profession, he worked in U.S. nationalized before. I guess 
uh, obviously all accusations of sexual assault are serious, but when it comes from someone who's in maybe such a place of high authority, I mean, is it uh, any more alarming or, or worrisome, that kind of thing? Well, um Any type of sexual assault is definitely considered serious in nature, and uh, uh, we would, you know, handle it accordingly and ensure that a proper, thorough investigation, no matter what position the person may have been in the uh, the accused at the time of the allegation. Um, but in this case, of course, because there is information that he may have been associated with. Um, the groups that I have mentioned previously, it is very important for us to ensure that everyone is aware and uh, to ensure there is no risk of harm to the public. Is this the first time that she had attended this uh, I, Because the, now the, the charges have been laid and it is before the courts, I can't speak about the details uh, relating to uh, the evidence that has been presented before the courts, so I can't comment on that at this time. No.